Oh, so pro tip number one that I made a mistake with when I was putting these together. So we put them in smaller bags than this um, because when I did it, it's just taking me a little bit longer to pull each seed out. And if you have a lot of seeds, you want to put them in like a smaller bag. I'd say even like half this bag, like a smaller sat, um, kind of Ziploc bag would probably be a better idea just because they don't need all this so much soil. Um, it'll make it a lot easier for when you start pulling the seeds out because when you dump the bag, and if the seeds are quite small, then it's going to be a lot harder to pull and sift through all that dirt and pull the seeds out. For the limber pine, it's a little easier for me to pull the seeds out because they're much larger. But the Austrian pine, their seeds are very, very tiny. They're much smaller. So definitely um, just be aware of if you're going to do something like this at home and uh, grow your own trees or seeds and you need to stratify them, cold stratify them, don't use so much dirt um, when you are putting them uh, in their bags in the fridge. Okay, so once you get your limber pine seeds or whichever seeds you're using, once you have them out of the stratification, you can start to plant them. So you can get a planter. This one's a 36 um, <clears throat> kind of planter, uh, has 36 seeds in it. On um, the other ones that I have, uh, the bigger ones that I put the Bristol pines and some of the Austrian pines in are 72. It doesn't matter how many you use, it's just if you're planting a lot, you might want to use one of these bigger ones. Okay, so what you want to do is basically just stick your finger in there a little bit, about eighth of an inch quarter of an inch okay put the seed in there and cover it up and then just keep track of each seed um, how many seeds you're putting in there you can double up as well I'm probably going to double up with some of the seeds just because I have so many <clears throat> because some of them might not grow and some of them will grow so and then you can always move them later if you need to okay so once you have your seeds planted you can water them I would use um, a light watering just not to erode or disturb uh, the dirt too much as well. The kind of dirt that you should probably be getting is a seed starting kind of mix. It's a, a lighter dirt uh, helps the seeds kind of grow a little bit easier. So with the water, just a little bit at a time. Okay. And what I've been finding is that you don't have to water them that much because once you put the plastic dome over top, it keeps them moist for a long time. Like I've only had to water uh, the Bristol cone pines once since I planted them and that was over a week ago. So I find that um, the dome keeps them wet for, for quite a long time. So you don't have to soak them. You don't have to water them too much. And if they do start to get dry, you can always water them again. So now we have um, all the trees planted. We have our um, Bristol cone pine here, uh, Bristol cone and Austrian pine in this one, and we have limber pine in this uh, planter, and then we have some limber and Austrian pine in this planter, and lastly, the last of the Austrian pine in this one. So I encourage you guys to um, try and grow some plants from home if you can, try and grow some seeds. Um, Test it, see how it goes. We'll see how these uh, trees do and uh, have a great day.